Welcome to The Wildlife, a series from the National Trust taking you on a journey around our island's exceptional wild places. This week we're heading to Exmoor to explore its unique landscapes and freshwater habitats. The Honeycott Estate in Somerset boasts rugged moorland, ancient woodlands and farmland and incredible freshwater spaces. In 2020, the Trust took on a unique mission to reintroduce beavers for the first time in 400 years. Engineer and TV presenter Rob Bell travelled to the site to find out more. We've come quite deep into the beaver enclosure here and it's, it's quite a dramatic landscape, isn't it? I mean, what does it take to create this? Right, just that beaver. So yeah, it's very otherworldly, isn't it? It's very Jurassic Park. It's, um, it really is. Yeah, they've just engineered this landscape to suit themselves. But in that, there's real benefit for a host of other wildlife. You know, we've lost most of the wetland in the UK. Beavers are one of the tools in the box for helping to bring some of that kind of lost world back. Beavers are the engineers of the natural world. They've made an incredible difference to this site with their damming ability. It's an absolute wonder. They create wetlands out of nothing, and wetlands are oases of life within the landscape. We've got big plans. These guys live for 12 to 14 years, so there's a lot more to come from our beavers. They're quite young, and um, we've already had kits born. We currently need to chip, sex, and health check the young. They're very difficult to catch. There's a little bit of skill involved and a little bit of luck. What's important for us is that they can keep managing these wetlands, they keep storing water, helping in drought periods, storing carbon, and being just amazing engineers within the landscape. National Trust rangers work closely with local volunteers to tackle the challenges faced by flooding and to enhance the local ecosystem. Ben, there's quite a curious looking landscape behind you there. What's going on here? So this is stage zero floodplain reconnection. What's really exciting is it's the first time that this river restoration technique has been used in the UK. What we're doing is resetting a river system to reconnect that water with the surrounding landscape and, and that's what you can see here. And there's a broad range of benefits to doing that. So you get that water in the soil, that captures more carbon. In terms of you know, climate change and resilience to extreme weather, yep. what you're doing with sort of broadening that flow of the water is you're slowing the flow of water. So that's gonna lessen the impact of extreme rainfall. And then at hot, dry times, you're keeping more water in the landscape. So again, that's a real benefit to local communities. Got a um, trailer here full of Full of trees and plants. So yeah. these, these are going to be parts of them. We're planting these here today. Yeah, willow bird cherry. Local community getting involved, helping us plant these trees. So this is going to be amazing habitat for wildlife, including species like water vole, but also beaver as well. Another hard-working resident on the Honeycott Estate is tenant farmer Holly Purdy. Holly uses a low-impact sustainable approach, allowing her to farm in harmony with nature and the local community. Here on the farm we're trying to create a circular model. What I mean by that is that everything's held in equilibrium, so the animals, the humans, the carbon, everything is equal within it. No part is more important than another. When we're looking at our freshwater habitat, we need to see ourselves as a potential point of pollution as farmers. So when we're spreading fertilizers on the ground or we're using chemical inputs that is washed into the ecosystem around us. And that's something that we don't do here. We don't use any chemical fertilizers. We don't use any herbicides or pesticides because we want to ensure that the impact we have here is positive, not just for the farm, but for our wider community. Ben, thanks so much for showing me around today. I mean, there's a lot of variety of, of projects and work that's going on across the estate. Are you quite pleased and, and hopeful for the change that this is going to bring to the landscape? I am. And I guess if you think of the landscape like a jigsaw puzzle, you know, over time, over the centuries, we've sort of, we've taken a lot of the pieces of that jigsaw puzzle out in regards to habitat and wildlife. Humankind. Exactly. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. And what we as a team are doing is putting some of the pieces of that jigsaw puzzle back. So with the beaver, with the river restoration, 
project you saw earlier on with the trees that the volunteers and the kids were planting, it's all helping to replace back some of that nature, that wildlife that we've lost for, for everyone's benefit, really. To find out more about how you can help protect nature, visit nationaltrust.org.uk.